Yo, what's up? Welcome back, everybody. It is your boy, Liam's Ghost. Now, yesterday, it was absolutely beautiful outside. It literally was like a taste of summer. Today, it has been raining and snowing a little bit. Just goes to show that BC's weather is super bipolar. I literally got a comment on my last video saying, like, how is it so nice outside? I thought you were in Canada. Bro, it was nice for like two hours, and then it goes back to this. Um, I'm rocking the Canucks hat because Canucks play the Penguins today. Need to win that game to stay first in the league. Um, I'm rocking the worst beard on all of YouTube. I got a acne breakout for the first time in like three years. Basically, what I'm trying to say is I'm a pretty scruffy guy. And how does a scruffy guy get his hands on a luxury pod system? I don't know, but I got one. It is the Keystone Arc Luxury Edition. Now, this is the purple. Very beautiful display. Uh, pod system you're probably thinking in your head is there any other colorways i don't really want to rock this colorway oh yeah there is and i got them all we got the gold colorway we got the gunmetal silver colorway we got the red we got the blue which i'm definitely going to be using the blue one looks so sick and we also have actually this is more of like the gunmetal gray the other one's like a silver we got this one as well. Now, do I need this many pod systems? Probably not. Do I got it like that with the diamond in each one? Oh yeah. Uh, I, don't, I actually find it hilarious that they got like a little little diamond here. That's what makes these um, pod systems 20,000. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But we are going to be checking out a luxury pod system today, which I am super excited about. What, what makes a pod system luxury? That's what we're gonna have to find out. Um, let me just make sure yep here it is this is the juice i'm going to be using today we got the pod juice kiwi dragonberry the 55 milligram e-liquid this is the same stuff that i was using in my box mod review and i absolutely loved it so we're gonna be using it again um let's start off with unboxing the blue one because that's the one i want to use we're probably gonna unbox three of them today and the reason being for that is because we have not one not two but three different pods. So we got the 0.8, we got the 0.4s, and we got the 0.6s. So we're gonna wanna try all of those by the end of the video. Now, without further ado, let's unbox this thing and let's uh, take a closer look at it. So see if I can get a nice little open here. I just cut my nails earlier, so I don't have any nail at all to mess around with this thing. This is why I usually keep a steak knife in my car to make it easier to open these things. That's the only reason. But I kind of came to the realization that if I have a big knife in my car, cruising around with it, if I ever get pulled over by the police, it's gonna be really hard to like explain to them that I just use it to open boxes. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this is just a letter opener. It's like, no dude, that's a pretty huge knife that you're only really supposed to use for like cutting steak and stuff like that. And this is just not really working. We're probably just gonna put you in jail, man. And I don't really want that. You know, as much as it's good to have one, it doesn't really seem the risk reward ratio seems off. So I don't have it in my car anymore, but that's why it took like 30 seconds to open this thing up. But we got it open. Now the box itself is like super gorgeous, to be honest, right? It's got that nice blue color all around. It says Keystone, Arc Luxury. It's got that little big diamond here that looks like it's placed right there i want to see what that looks like in person interested to see what that looks like um on the side it's going to give you guys some more information about it so it's got an output power of 5 to 30 watts it's got leak resistance it's got a 2 milliliter capacity it's got a 900 milliamp battery and it's got type c charging on the side here it also says arc luxury once again it says pay less joy more all right and it says pod system because it is a pod system that we're going to be checking out today. And then on the bottom, the back, the back here, it's going to show what you're getting in the package, the parameters, the pod specifications, uh, a little warning, and then where to find them on social media. And it, it also comes so you can like stand it up, which is kind of cool. So I could have like took some flexy little pictures with this, but instead I'm just going to rip it open. Anyways, without further ado, we've gotten through the box. Now let's go see what's inside. Um, let's figure out how to open this here. Oh, oh man, I, I thought that this was for a stand. Uh, no, I was wrong. It's actually how you unbox it. It's latches. Anyways, let's try to get a good unbox here. Oh, a box inside a box. What a tease.
Ooh. It's kind of out of place, but look at that. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. And I just love how this was packaged. It was packaged so nicely. Like it just honestly look, just looks expensive. It looks high quality. But yeah, let's take this thing out and take a closer look at it. Uh, my bad, my bad. Dang. This thing is absolutely dope. Look at that blinged out too. You got the iced out pod system, bro. Be doing it differently. Now let's not waste any time. Um, Let's get, five, where did I, here it is. Let's grab our juice and let's fill up the 0.8. I want to start with the highest ohm pod and then go down. So 0.8, then 0.6, then 0.4. So the clouds are just going to keep getting exponentially bigger. So let's open this thing up and let's figure out how to fill it together. Let's see if it's difficult. Sometimes it's difficult to fill these things. Sometimes it's super simple. Um, for this one, it is very, very simple. All you have to do is find this little silicone piece here and pop it open just like that. Make sure to always shake up your bottles because the ingredients can always separate if you leave it out for a while. Like this one, I haven't used it in probably two weeks. So I want to make sure that everything is mixed together well. So you get that flavor that is intended for. Because you can have it where the ingredients aren't mixed properly. And like either A, you don't get enough nicotine or you get too much nicotine. And neither of those things are very good except for maybe too much nicotine. I might not complain about that. Anyways, we just stick the needle nose into the uh, pod itself and just squeeze and let all the juice saturate into the into the pod. And once it's filled up to your desire, you want to just give it... See, I barely even filled this thing up, actually. I just filled it up to the line, which is probably the best for your juice conservation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple dry hits and let all the juice soak into the coil there. And while I'm doing that, what I'm going to do is show you guys some other things that it's going to come with. So on the bottom here, we got the charger. We always got to check the charger size. Let's see what we're working with here. Okay, lanyard. That's always cool. Um, it's got a little silicone O. So this is what you put around your disposal or your pod system. And then you attach the lanyard to it. Always good to have that. And then we got one of the smallest chargers in the world. <sighs> you guys make bigger chargers you know it's not a huge deal but like when people want to hit their you know their vapes and they're like laying in bed or on their couch or something and they got it charging they want there to be some length to it you know what i mean if they got that shit plugged in behind their couch or something I'm like come on man but besides that not a big deal and then inside this is going to be your extra pod as well so this one should be ready now so we should be able to get our first hits um it already came with a pod pre-installed but i already know that these ones are the ohms that i want to be using so that's why i'm leaving it like that so here we got the 0.8 pod it's the best way to, to test it to see if it's ready is you take a puff like this and i can taste the flavor coming through so i know it's good to go so we're going to plug it in and we're going to figure out how to turn it on so i'm guessing it's going to be five clicks yep and let's see if it's going to set it. So it's already set to 16 watts. So let's double check here. On this uh, manual here to make sure here. So the 0.8 is going to be from 16 to 20 watts. So we got it set perfectly. So let's give that a rip. All right. Cheers, everybody. First hit off of the luxury pod system by Keystone. Very excited to try it. Cheers. Boop. Ow. Ow. You want to know what happened there? The airflow here on the side was fully closed. So I just got straight flavor to the dome, dude. That gave me a nice head rush, but it kind of hurt. I like to keep the airflow all the way open like this. So you get the most oxygen coming through. Biggest clouds kind of thing. Watch how much bigger of a cloud I'm going to get. And how much a better hit I'm going to get. Dude, the clouds are already huge. And that's with the 0.8. This tastes really good. The flavor is coming through amazing. This thing is actually pretty awesome. Now, we need to get these other pods set up right away. Because we're already at 10 minutes in the video. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the 0.4. 
at the same time as I'm opening up the 0.6 and we're gonna quickly fill them both and put them to the side. And while we're doing that, we'll get a little bit more into the specifications of the pod system itself. So I'm gonna open these up quickly. We're gonna take the juice and we're just gonna really quickly fill these up and take a couple dry hits off of them. So that should be good. And I gotta put these things in different places in my car so I don't forget. Actually, it says it very clearly here. It says 0.5 and it shows the recommended wattage. So I didn't even need to look into the manual itself. It says it right here, 0.4 for 25 to 30 watts. So this is gonna be maxing the power out on your pod system if you're using this 0.4. So it's gonna give you the best hits, but it's also gonna kill your battery the fastest. So it gives as much as it takes. Now I've probably filled that one up the most because this is probably the one I'm gonna be using after the video. Now I'm gonna take a couple dry hits off these at the same time. Oh, they got the covers on. See, you gotta make sure you take the covers off once you fill them up to let all the juice saturate because you need some airflow coming through there for it to saturate into the coil. So we're gonna pull those off quickly. And we are set. So now I'm just gonna take a couple, couple dry hits here. And I'll put them on the side. So now let's talk a little bit more about the device itself. So we're going to refer to the manual here and we're going to talk about the parameters. So the output power is five to 30 watts. Like we talked about, it's got a 900 milliamp battery. It's got that type C charging cable and that is right here on the bottom. And it's got a pod capacity of two milliliters. So all pretty good stuff. All pretty good stuff. Let's take another rip here. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that is so good. I didn't forget my water this time. <sighs> delicious, delicious. Now let's test to see if these pods are already here. Not tasting too much flavor coming through yet, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Let's focus on the 0.6 though. And while we're doing that, Let's open up another colorway. I really want to see what the gold looks like. So we're going to quickly open that one up. Oh, dang. Look at that. That is so fire. Bro, this thing is sick. Oh, yeah. That is the definition of luxury right there, dude. This thing is actually, it does not look cheap at all. Like, listen. It's got that nice, nice material, man. That's tough. This thing is tough. The only thing I'd worry about with this thing is you want to take good care of it because this, you can just tell based on the material that this would scratch so easily. Like it looks mint when it's in prime shape, but you really want to take care of it because the scratches on this thing, you could tell it would get bad quickly if you drop it or anything like that. So let's just use the gold one, honestly. So let's turn this one on. Now we got it turned on. We may as well, oh, I must be doing something wrong here. One, two, three, four, five. It must be dead. I must have had to charge this one. I have all these ones and at least the blue one came charged, the one that I like. So we're just gonna stick with that one. Now, now that I got it all ready to go, look how little it looks like there's juice in there because I had it up to the line before and now that it's all saturated into the coil it looks like there's nothing left in here but it doesn't matter because we're only going to take a couple hits this is the 0.6 20 to 25 watts so let's plug it in and look at that it's already going to preset it to 24 you you don't even need to do anything it reads the coil that's so smart anyways cheers That was not a very good hit. It didn't hit properly. Let's try that again. There we go. Wow. Wow, that hits hard. I, that just makes me so excited to try the point four, man. That is so good. Let's switch it out. Woo! And let's throw the point four in. Now, this is the part of the video where we got to do the community hit. If you guys have made it to this point, you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to comment 15 minutes and let me know if you could have any of these colors 
which one would you go for personally my favorite is the blue so that's why we're using it i think it's absolutely gorgeous anyways uh what we're gonna do for the community hit today is we're gonna take the biggest hit possible to achieve the fattest head rush possible i'm a little nervous because we're rocking the point four, so i know this thing is gonna hit so hard i'm gonna hit it to the side so we get that full cloud i just need one sip of water first ladies and gentlemen okay we ready we ready all right a 0.4 ohm coil it's uh preset to 25 watts this is gonna destroy me cheers everybody Boop. oh that's all i had in me Woo! that was good that was very good I really like this thing. I would probably rate this thing a 9 out of 10. You couldn't really ask for much more out of a simple pod system. It hits really good. Hitting this at 25 watts will make you out of breath if you're putting 55 milligram in it. I wouldn't suggest that you guys do that. I am a trained professional, so that's why I did. We're going to take one more hit. We're going to do a French inhale, get a good sneeze on, and we're going to call it a day. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to drop a thumbs up. Um, if you guys want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you never miss a single notey. Um, as much as I love making these videos by myself, I'm going to try to make some more videos with Matt and Isaiah coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. I appreciate you guys and cheers. All right, peace.